Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Custom Spray Mods. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly detail and clean a motorcycle. Also, apply some ceramic coating to the paint. That's going to help protect it, make it easy to clean. I've just been on a massive ride over the weekend with this Beamer, uh, probably amounting to about 12 hours on the bike. So I've got bugs, brake dust, road grime, everything like that. I'm going to show you how to clean it and protect it. Check it out. Firstly, I'm going to clean the inside of the exhaust pipe. Using some wax and grease remover and a dirty rag, I'm just going to clean the inside, all the exhaust, and get that area nice and clean. Then, I'm going to stuff the rag inside the exhaust pipe so I don't get any water in there. I'm going to give the bike a rinse, then I'm going to spray some deionizer. This is Auto Finesse Iron Out. It's a great way to remove brake dust, iron particles, and other contamination from the vehicle. Just spray it on, let it sit for about five minutes, then wash it off with water. You'll see the product starting to turn purple. That means it's doing its job. Releasing all the iron particles from the surface and it's going to allow me to just wash it off. Now I'm going to spray the Auto Finesse Citrus Power. This is a bug remover and all-purpose degreaser. I'm going to spray it over the front of the bike and everywhere where there's bugs and grime. I'm going to spray it everywhere and just let that soak in for a little bit. While that's soaking, I'm going to use a lug nut brush and start cleaning the brakes and the wheels. Also using the brush to get rid of any bugs from the radiator and under the front cowling. I'm also using the wheel woolly brushes to get into all the little areas of the front wheels. Nothing cleans wheels like these wheel woolies, especially on bikes. There's so many hard to reach areas. This brush really gets into them and gets it nice and clean. This stage separates the difference between a fully clean bike and a dirty bike. So make sure you get this done right. Now I'm going to spray snow foam over the bike. Going to use a snow foam gun, connect it to a hose, and spray it all over the bike. This is going to drag all the dirt and dust down off the bike rather than me working in with a sponge. That's going to create swells in the paint. I'm going to use this as a pre cleanser. That's going to help get rid of any light, dirt, and dust. Apply it to the bike and wash it off after about five minutes. Now I'm going to mix my car wash. This is a pH neutral car wash in a bucket of water. I'm also going to fill up a bucket of water with pure clean water. Now using a microfiber sponge, I'm going to lightly clean the surface of the paint, not putting too much pressure, and rinsing the sponge after each pass on the bike. That's going to clean the sponge, and instead of working the dirt into the paint, it'll clean it off, so I'm using a fresh microfiber sponge every time I touch the bike. This is known as the two bucket method. It's common amongst detailers as it minimizes swells on paintwork. And that's what we're trying to do. I'm giving the bike a rinse and I'm going to air dry it with a blower. You can use a leaf blower. I'm using compressed air. And you can see that I've got a bit of tape on the tip of my air blower. That's to minimize the metal on the air blower scratching the paint. Now I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and go over and dry it again. Now I've got some stubborn bug residue, so I'm going to use the Auto Finesse Glide and a clay bar, go over the paint and clean off all those hard to remove bugs that didn't come off with my normal wash. At this stage, I'm going to use the all-purpose cleaner and a rag and clean the sidewalls of the tyres. It's important not to use tyre shine on motorcycle tyres. It's a very sensitive area. You don't want to put greasy product on your tyres for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to apply the auto finesse spritz on all the plastic areas of the bike. Spritz is a water-based interior quick detailer. It removes light films, gets rid of static particles, and this stops dust buildup. It also protects against UV light. It also dries with a flat finish to give that factory look. Now it's time to apply some ceramic coating. I'm going to clean the paint with an alcohol-based cleaner. This is going to help the ceramic coat bond to the surface as good as it can. Now that the bike is fully clean and prepped, I'm going to use the CSM Moto Coat. It gives a ceramic protection to the paint, a sacrificial layer of protection that will last up to four years. This little bottle will cover more than three to four bikes. I'm going to apply a few lines of the product to the applicator cloth and work it in three to four times, focusing on a small area at a time. This will make sure the product gets applied evenly and the whole area is protected. Then I'll buff it with a microfiber cloth. I'll go over all the paint, even the headlights overlapping to make sure it's all covered. Now that all the paint is fully coated, it's important to keep it out of the wet for at least a week. This will help the ceramic coat bond and give you the best possible protection. Well, there you have it. The bike's pretty dirty, had bugs, brake dust, everything like that. Cleaned it, used the deioniser, uh, used the citrus base bug remover, also cleaned the wheels, the tyres, gave it a good uh, wash with the snow foam, used my two bucket method, cleaned the paint, then I dried it, cleaned it with some wax grease remover, applied the ceramic coating, now it's looking pretty schmick, ready to ride. Now if you ever need to wash your bike again, you've already got that coating on there, but you can add another layer of wax and protection. I like to use the Auto Finesse Aqua Coat. You basically spray it on when the paint is wet, and wash it off, it foams up and leaves a layer of wax and about a three month protection. On a normal vehicle, on a bike, be even longer. That was it, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a comment, share it, and um, get on your bike, have a good ride. See you next time.